All right, guys, so here we go. We're going to calibrate the or check the calibration on the Y axis uh, travel, uh, specifically the motor revolutions per or distance per revolution. Um, so I've got the Y axis is set to zero on the DRO, and I've got a setup here with a gauge block uh, that's exactly four inches long um, within 25 millionths. So, as far as I'm concerned, it's exact. <laughs> And um, this uh, DRO, this uh, setup here, I've got a Heimer uh, set very close to zero, I'm going to fraction over the zero line. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the Z axis and uh, travel um, in Y until I meet the other gauge block and then um, see what the DRO reads. Um, so I've got an MPG here that I'm just going to place on top of the vise. And essentially uh, set to Z and travel upward until the, the DRO is up high enough to go pick up the, uh, the other um, gauge block. So I'm going to change to Y movement over all the way across until we get to the other end. And then I'm going to raise the Z just a bit more. I pick up the right spot on the gauge block. And until I make contact, like I just saw the arrow just move on the Heimer, and I, I slow down the uh, increments and uh, uh, just dial it in uh, until I get to zero. And that's a fancy tool, uh, but it works very well. You can also use a test indicator get the same sort of results here I am back a, a line a hair over to zero again and we go over to DRO uh, we're uh, four tenths under um, which is pretty close uh, probably as close as I need it to be uh, but here's the motor settings uh, I had to play with the uh, distance per evolution setting uh, until I get a the value that gets me dialed in uh, seems to fluctuate a little bit, uh, but uh, I've got the backlash compensation running, and uh, it seems to be getting back to zero properly. Uh, we can check that right now. Uh, values moved up here by changing that value. Um, so by changing the, the value of here, it adjusted the DRO. I'm within two tenths now, according to that. So it's very, very close. So now we're going to travel back uh, to the origin. Press the F3 key and travel back to the origin. Making sure I travel the correct direction so I don't break my probe. So I've gone past the end of the block. Uh, I'm going to drop down. Approximately the same location that I was, and then travel in, go pick up the zero again. When the arrows are moving, I reduce my increments and get her dialed into the zero. And I've just got my hair passed and uh, my hair passed on the DRO, so the backlash um, compensation is working. Uh, it's much less than five tenths, um, so I can I can actually back up, reapproach it without touching anything. Get back on zero, and we're two tenths under. So. I mean, it's really, really close. Uh, I'm not overly concerned about two tenths, uh, especially on a home-built machine. But um, in any case, uh, this is the way I set up my uh, calibrations and was able to make some adjustments today that I, I thought I'd already done, but it's helping some more. Hopefully this helps someone else out.